Hey guys, it's Trevor again. So for those of you that don't know, I am a Tyranids player, and every Tyranids player wants to paint a Hive Tyrant. The thing is, I wanted to make my Hive Tyrant kind of special, and that's why today I'll be showing you how I kitbashed Rending Claws, Twin Linked Devourers, and of course, Translucent Insect Wings. So the first thing I noticed when I was assembling my Hive Tyrant was that it was missing more than half of the weapon options that Games Workshop says it can take. So I thought, hmm, maybe you can buy these missing weapons in an upgrade pack. Well, you can buy one of them from Forge World. And yeah, I'm not prepared to pay that kind of money for a pair of arms. What you can buy though, is 14 separate upgrade packs to change your Space Marine's shoulder pads. But hey, who's counting? In addition, the Forge World website asked me to prove that I was human by selecting pictures of bicycles, which is very insulting in my culture. Alright, so kit bashing it is. Now, I already knew that I was going to make my own wings, so I decided to turn the normal wings into rending claws. So, I chopped off all the wing membrane bits from the wings. And this left me with a pair of big tyranid hands minus the fingers. Now, the Trigon kit comes with a bunch of options for mouth mandible parts, so I used a spare pair of these to make my tyrant's index fingers. It also comes with a bunch of these extra belly poker things, so I used them to make the rest of his fingers. For the index finger, I sanded down the palm of the hand and the base of the finger so that they could lie flat against each other. For the smaller fingers, I used a hobby knife to make two small holes that I could just push the fingers into. I then joined everything together with a liberal amount of plastic glue. And after a bit of cleanup, I thought it looked pretty good. I wanted to give the second hand a bit more of an angle, so I cut it in half. Then I sanded down the edges so that I could join it together at a more acute angle. Alright, and I think that looks pretty good, so let's move on to the Devourers. So as it turns out, Devourers from the Termagant kit are actually a pretty decent size to put on your monsters, it's just the tiny little arms on them. For a bigger arm, I decided to use the Crushing Claws from the Termagant kit, because of course I built it as a Terran effects. No one's really taking Termagants these days, cause the rules are terrible. So the first thing I did was to chop the Devourers in half. I grabbed two of the front halves and removed all the little bits from the bottom. Then I plastic glued them together. While they were drying, I chopped off the claw bit from the crushing claws. I sanded down the wrist to make it nice and flat for gluing. Then I attached the front ends of the devourers using plastic glue. I then made some little acid tubes out of milliput and attached them to the sides of the devourers. Alright, we're ready to pew 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 our enemies to death. Now let's talk about the wings of the Hive Tyrant. I think the normal wings on the Hive Tyrant look really cool, but they're a bit, like, bat or dragon-like for my tastes, and I prefer something a bit more insect-like, because the Tyranids are bugs. And that's why I decided to use the insect wings from the Plague Drones of Nurgle kit instead. So I said I wanted to make translucent insect wings, and as you can see, there is an obvious problem. These wings are not translucent. So I made silicon moulds for the wings. Then I mixed up some slightly yellow epoxy resin, poured it into my moulds, and just like that, I had translucent insect wings. Okay, so Games Workshop, please don't sue me. I am not trying to rip you off. I am not trying to sell these for profit. I just wanted to make my Hive Tyrant look cool. To attach all the weapons and wings, I drilled a bunch of holes and put in some magnets. 
This not only makes it easy for me to swap weapon options for different games, it also makes it very easy for me to transport this guy, because I can just pull his wings and arms off and stick him in a box. I also used a bit of milliput just to fill in any gaps at all the connection points. So that's all the modeling done, and I think he looks pretty good. So I primed the body and the arms as per normal using a spray can. However, for the wings, I used a paint on primer so that I could avoid getting any primer onto the parts that I wanted to remain translucent. After that, I just needed to paint my Hive Tyrant in my Hive Fleet colors. After I finished painting everything, I applied a layer of gloss varnish onto both sides of the wings. This allowed them to be more see-through and a little more gross and insect looking. The final thing I had to do was to give a name to my Hive Tyrant. But what name should I give to the commander of my entire Hive Fleet? The strongest, fastest, and smartest unit in my army. And there you go! Here's my Hive Tyrant with kit-bashed rending claws, twin-linked devourers, and translucent insect wings that you can actually see through. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe, and you can also let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you had fun watching, and I'll see you all next time.